All right, today we're talking top five must do's to be a top creator on YouTube. Um, welcome back, Rob Penny with This Is Rob Penny. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. If this is your first time, hope you like the content. So I'm gonna rip through my blog and I'm gonna rip through my notes here and we're gonna talk about what are the top five things you need to do to become a top creator on YouTube? I'm not yet a top creator, but I'm taking notes and working towards that. So today we're gonna to talk about Mr. Beasts uh, in particular. So I listened to three of his uh, podcasts he did with other creators, and these are the top five things he has noted that you need to do in your YouTube videos to be a top creator. So the five are, I'll list them out, is doing your quality of video over quantity. You need to get to the point quickly. You need to have great uh, YouTube thumbnails and thumbnail titles. You need to look at the top charts, what's trending in YouTube and always try to be current. And also use multiple shots. <coughs> God, that was awful. <coughs> Ugh. All right. What are the top five things you need to do, must do? No. All right. What are the. I'm talking. What are the top five things, five must do's to be a top creator on YouTube? We're going to talk about that today. Uh, welcome back. This is Rob Penny from This Is Rob Penny. Uh, if you're returning, thank you. If this is your first time, I hope you enjoy. So today, I'm going to be ripping through my um, blog and my notes and talk about the top five things you must do to be a top creator on YouTube. Obviously, I'm not one yet, but this is what I've distilled down from three individual um, hour-long podcasts from Mr. Beast. So we'll jump right into it. Top five things you must do to be a top creator. Um, they are quality over quantity. So focus on the quality of your videos, not the, just the quantity. You wanna to get to the point as quickly as possible. Uh, number three, you wanna have great YouTube thumbnails, but also you wanna have great titles for your thumbnails as well. You want to um, Look up and be aware of probably once a month of the YouTube charts, what's trending and what's popular. And then also, um, number five, is using multiple shots or cameras. So I'm going to dive into each one of those specifically here. So the first one, I found this was really interesting. Mr. Beast talks about focusing on quality over the quantity. So in specific, he noted, I thought this was pretty uh, mind-blowing, it's way easier to get 5 million views on one video than it is to get 50,000 views on 100 videos. Uh, meaning that if you just take that little bit of extra effort to make one video really great, your chances of getting 5 million are much higher with, with lower effort than it would be to just pump out quantity of say 100 videos that you just rush and they only get 50,000 views. Um, honestly, that's what I was doing, so that's totally reframed um, how I'm approaching this. Um, I still think, maybe this is me uh, personal, that like the Gary V approach has a place where you want to be uploading constantly, but I think it's that perfect mixture of having quality that you can then clip and upload, um, whether it's on you know TikTok or Instagram, but, but getting to Mr. B's point, poor quality content out there isn't worth it on YouTube. So great takeaway, quality over quantity. Number two, get to the point quickly. Uh, this is actually my first video I'm using this. Um, these are the steps that Mr. B said will make you a top creator instantly. So right off the bat, whatever your YouTube thumbnail title is, you want to make sure you say that. So this is what are the top five must do's to be a top creator on YouTube. The title is gonna be that on the thumbnail. And when I introed this, that is the first thing I said as well. So I'm trying to keep that consistency of, this is why you clicked, and this is what you're gonna hear when you click into the video. 
Um, what Mr. Beast noted is if you don't do that, the second they come into the video, they say, well, this isn't what I clicked on, and they're gonna be out. Um, basically, you have roughly 10 to 45 seconds where that person's gonna decide do they wanna continue to watch this video. After that, intro, um, specifically what the title says, then you have about 10 seconds to give your own personal intro, whether it's your, your fancy one that comes in with graphics or if it's just like, like mine, I'm a bare bones, introduce myself and the channel. So get to the point, introduce the channel, get right into the content. Uh, pretty simple point and uh, I'm gonna keep on moving in the spirit of that. Next was the, the thumbnail title. So I took a lot of notes um, from, from Mr. Beast in the past in terms of creating the YouTube thumbnail itself, uh, using a picture that takes up like roughly a third, you know, it's a face, it's recognizable, um, large lettering, large lettering, and a quick, easy to read title. So the thumbnail's got it good. But the title was specifically uh, interesting. He said, make it specific. So I know there's a trend and I've seen it and I've used it a little bit where you want to make your title to the YouTube thumbnail vague um, in the idea that you're going to get someone to click in because they want to find out more information. But in reality, what happens is that when they search, uh, a YouTube viewer searches for content and they see yours, which is um, vague, what it would be like... Um, how to be a top five creator. Um, you would think that that would be uh, intriguing to some and want to click on it, but actually when they see below it, what are the five must do's to be a top creator? It's much more specific. It details what they're looking for and they're more likely to click on that specific as opposed to be curious about a vague title. So being specific in the title is number three. Number four uh, is look at the top charts. I guess this was obvious. I had never done it myself, but look to figure out what is trending. And it's not just the, the style of, um, sorry, it's not just the genre of content. So it doesn't just have to be, um, you know, video games trending or music videos trending, but what, what type of content is it? Is it, um, is it traditional vlog? Is it high production? Is it, um, uh, maybe talking through games or talking through something on a screen. It's like, what is the, the style of the video that's happening? And then uh, try, try to see if you can incorporate some of that into your own. And number five, I don't have the answer for this one yet, but it was a great, uh, and I also don't have the setup as, as you know, um, using multiple shots. So even if you're talking in a format like, uh, like I am here, um, the ability to switch to maybe a camera that's coming from this direction or a camera that's coming from this direction while you're talking um, can break up that just one camera focus directly on me, which from what Mr. Beast is saying can sometimes get um, draining in a sense on the viewer that having cuts in different angles keeps the video engaging even if you're just continuing on a monologue. So, my five takeaways that I got this past week from Mr. Beast are focus on that quality over the quantity of the videos. Get to the point quickly. Use that very specific thumbnail title. Keep up to date on what the trends are. And then also, when you can, use multiple shots or engaging shots. And if you do those five things, your YouTube content will be elevated already to that top tier of YouTube. I hope you really found this interesting. Um, feel free to leave comments below. I'm looking forward to hear what you have to say or if there's any um, top things that you would do. And until next time, thanks for joining and I will talk to you soon.